Hey ladies, this is Erica Johnston and welcome back to my channel. If you've got any fears at all about going grey, then this is the video for you. Or if you've already gone grey and you want to share with others how you overcame those fears, then keep watching. So what is it about going grey that is that difficult? Right, Lenny? It's just hair. So I try to go through each and every one of your comments and respond to them. And I have to say that out of all the comments that your biggest fear, and mine as well, is that you're going to look older with your natural hair. I think this is a big misconception for a lot of people because in the past, before now, there wasn't a lot of role models out there who would let their hair go grey at a younger age. And when I say younger, I'm not talking about like 30 or 40 even. I'm even talking about 50 and 60 and 70 years old, you know, and still a lot of women in those age brackets still dye their hair to look younger, which is perfectly fine. But I think it's nice to know that you don't really need to. I think women need to know that the hair dye is not necessarily making them look younger. It's the fact that they are doing everything else, right? So they're actually styling their dyed hair. They're, you know, keeping themselves fit and healthy and they're living full lives. That's what's actually making them look more youthful, right? So if those same people, which we're now seeing like in tons of social media posts, are letting their natural hair go, not gonna age themselves by 20 years. So I actually had a woman comment on my channel uh, <laughs> and she said that I looked 25 years older with my gray hair and it was kind of one of those like no offense but and I actually I think that if I was just starting my grow out and somebody said that to me I think that I would have really been feeling vulnerable and like questioning myself and stuff but I don't feel like that anymore. So know that when you go through the transition, you will feel more confident in the end. And so comments like that won't bother you as much. And actually maybe not at all, because to me, it made me laugh. I was like, okay, so you think that I look 66 years old, right? That's what she's saying. And if she does, I don't really care because I know a lot of awesome 66 year olds out there and who really cares anyways. But truthfully, in my own skin, I don't feel that 25 years older and I don't think that I necessarily look that either, right? So it just doesn't bother me and I, I don't think, you know, it, it should bother you either. And if you've got all of these women out there surrounding you who are all going through it together, just, I guess, um, I guess just trust in the, just trust in the process. And it's a long one. I know for a lot of you, if you're going the long road, it's a long <laughs> process, but it is so worth it. And not having to have your whole life revolve around dyeing your hair myself every two weeks, like it's just, that was crazy. It's just, to me, it was just, it's just not worth the effort of the silver sparkles coming in actually every week, really. So I understand the fear because I'll tell you something, when you're going through the transition, I really do think it makes a lot of people look older for a while, right? It's, it's a very unkempt kind of look when it's half and half, you know, you're growing it out. It's just, it's not as flattering and it can make you look older. So give it some time. I've said this before, don't rush the process and you never know, it might actually make you look younger. The second biggest fear that you have is that your husband or your partner won't like the new you. And this was actually the case for me. As loving and supportive as my husband is, he didn't want me to go gray. But I'll tell you something, if this is your situation, and I know it is so many of yours, you just have to push through it. Because you know what? My husband loves the new me. He, this is me, this is the real me, right? So, and that was really what I said to him all the time was like, oh my gosh, I, you know, you don't want me to be me, right? And I think that that 
kind of scared me and I'm sure you a lot of you feel the same way it's like oh your partner doesn't even want you to show your true self right and so when somebody like tells me I can't do something or they suggest that I do something different I'm really stubborn <laughs> so I just was like I'm gonna do this and then I also said though to my husband I said if I hate it I'll die it right so the the decision is yours in the end and I think that's the thing right is if in the end you go through this a year later you don't like it die it but make it your decision not based on anyone else so do what you want to do because it is your hair and you know what your choice in your life go for it <laughs> all right so that leads me to the third big fear that you have and that's approval from your friends and you know I have to say I didn't have really much approval right like everybody just kind of went okay whatever but it wasn't like oh it's so good that you're doing that right it was more just this kind of like what are you doing you know <laughs> why are you doing that it's and I'm sure they just couldn't imagine as as could I right what I would end up looking like so the comments can get to you they can really affect your psyche. You just have to give your friends time. And the same with your hairstylist, right? Because they have their own preconceived notions, their own beliefs, and you're not going to change them. The only way that you can change their beliefs is by going through with your transition. And then they can look at you and they can make up their mind what they think, right? But there is something like, I do feel really bad for those of you though who have you know friends and family out there who are actually saying negative things to you because I didn't have that except for the hairdresser he was very rude but you know friends and family that's different when they start kind of telling you you know you look older and this kind of stuff I, I just find that sad I find what is, you know, why, why do we have to be so judgmental of one another, right? Ah, oh, so I feel for you. Yeah, I, di I didn't have that situation. And really now on this channel, it's been so beautifully positive. I've only had a few negative comments. I guess my advice when it comes to, you know, the negativity of friends and family is prove them wrong. Just prove them wrong. All right, so the next biggest fear that you have is about whether or not you're going to look professional in the workplace. I think the thing is in the professional workplace is that you are continuing to style your hair the same way or even nicer than you were before you stopped dyeing it. And the other thing that I would suggest to you is if you can try to minimize the demarcation line to make it look a little bit less harsh that might be an option as well, just to make you feel a bit bit more comfortable and confident going into your workplace when you can. Because <laughs> I know right now, most of you are just probably doing your, your meetings and stuff like that on Zoom. But you need to do what works for you. All right, so the next big fear that you have is that the silver will wash you out. And it can in some cases, but I'm going to be honest with you. I think that my dyed brunette hair washed me out even more, like especially when I did darker colors. So personally, I think that, and I've said this before, Mother Nature knows best and that your natural color should actually complement your skin tone. I think it sparkles, I think it shines, and I think it enhances. Right, Lenny? Lenny does too. <laughs> All right, so the final fear that you have, and this is one of my favorites. I know I shouldn't be smiling at your fears, but it's very fun because I see this a lot in the comment section, is that you won't be gray enough. So, you know, there's so many of us out there who, you know, we're up so upset about having gray hair, and there's just as many who are like wishing to be more gray and that they don't have enough. I think that that's just very telling of where we're headed in society, right? Whereas silver and white and gray are just beautiful now. They're not ugly and old and that sort of thing. They're just natural and lovely and individual. So 
if you only have a few strands of silver and you know and you want more <laughs> there are so many dyes out there that you can dye your hair silver nowadays if you want to go that route or you can just let them show through as little sparkly highlights as well all right so that's it for today if you've already gone through your transition and you want to share how you got over some of your own fears i'd love to hear from you and i'm sure many other people that are just going through the transition right now would love to hear as well if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe for more videos like this every tuesday and friday all right lenny and i are off bye for now come here you want to say hi too is that what you want to do hey you want to say do the intro with me is that what you're saying okay this is really stupid it's too much it's the same as the last video i did with age comes wisdom <laughs>